my choice of car, Fiat Barchetta. I used to have one of these, but this isn't just any Barchetta. It's a Riviera Special Edition. Black paint, red quilted leather. It's beautiful. You haven't been brave, you've been stupid. It's beautiful. It's stupid, it's a Fiat. Look at that. I have been a wise man. I have bought a Mazda MX-5. Yeah, the boring, obvious choice. That's why I originally bought myself one of those. Yes, because, listen, every time we do one of these trips, every time I get the interesting car that's in a cloud of steam, this time, wherever we're going, this will make it. You know that. I've been the wisest and I've done this properly. I've combined European stylishness with legendary German reliability in this BMW Z3. I didn't know we're banking, aren't we? I didn't know you could get a Z3 for less than three and a half thousand quid. You can't. Well, how much did you pay for it? I rounded it up. How? 3,966. Well, that's more than the budget. You've spent too much. So we're not three wise men. We're one wise man, an idiot and a cheat. We then started wondering where we might be going. Come on. Is it China? What if they came from the east, Norfolk? Well, I'm telling you something, wherever the hell that is, it's not Norwich. We'd find out soon enough, though, because it was time to take our seats for landing. Ah, there we go. Seatbelt fastened. Throttling back, approach to something. What the hell are they doing? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Where the hell is that? Put your handbrake on! If the straps break, I'm... <laughs> I just saw a runway. And the coach is down. There we go, we're landing. Here we are, levelling off. Levelling off. Landing! Landing! Please land! What's he doing? He's missed the runway! exactly where here was. Gentlemen, <clears throat> look who's arrived. We have that. What are they? They are flat jackets. Wow. Why? Oh, that is real bulletproof. Kevlar. Bulletproof jackets. What have we got to do? Oh, God. What? Go on. You have landed in Iraq. Give up. Bethlehem is 1,200 miles away, but between here and there, there are a few wars. Best of luck, and don't forget to pick up some gold, frankincense and myrrh on the way. Yeah, look at the myrrh and stuff, but Iraq. That's Iraq. That is Iraq. Well, 
We've got to get off the plane. <coughs> well, you go first. Well, I can't go first, can I? Because your part's in the way. Can we get... Um... Well, hang on, then. Okay, we'll all go at the same time. Let's yes, we'll, we'll be right we'll behind you. We'll all just go three, two, one. Yeah, go. go. Right, everybody know what we're doing. We'll go on three, two, one, all three, out. Decent speed, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Is everybody running? Handbrake's off. Does anybody want to talk about anything? But no, let's just do it. OK, right, if we're ready, in. Three, two, one, go! Did you stall? Yes, I did. I'm taking evasive action. Where are you? I'm alive. I'm hiding in a pink shed. I'm really sorry, Hamo. Yeah, whatever. Thanks for leaving me on my own to draw the fire. Right. Having successfully covered 300 yards, we got the map out so we could plan our next move. According to the sign on the back of that fire engine over there, we are in our bill here. Mercury hands there. So, first things first, you would agree, we've got to get out of Iraq as quickly yes. as possible. Now, the nearest border is Turkey, but there's no road up there. So, if we go into Iran... Hang on. Isn't Bethlehem's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the way we want to go. Yes, through places like Mosul and Baghdad, Pat. Have you ever seen a television programme called The News? I'm aware of it. Trust me, Mosul is properly dangerous. That's really bad. That's as bad as it gets anywhere in the world right now.